Hey, how are you guys doing today? I hope amazing. So today I'm going to show you guys a great location if you're doing the AI war mission or doing any of the boot camp missions on planet Rocktopia. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the missions actually require you to kill a specific number of mobs with the AI war. Of course, it's the AI mob. And uh, on boot camp, it's just kill a crap ton of zombies, which isn't always that annoying. But if you're just trying to knock it out, knowing a good location to do it on less pad over putting in like tons of money into doing it is probably going to be the best way to go. So real quick, I'm going to get up our chat so I can uh, kind of follow along with whatever you guys are saying and stuff. I do hope you guys are doing just amazing. I'm having an awesome day. If you look behind me, my uh, stuff for gold panning did actually come in. And so probably going to go out and practice or try my first uh, hand at gold panning this weekend. Adjust my camera just a little bit. I'll show you kind of where you can go and uh, hunt the uh, AIs. And then I'll show you the actual place where you probably should. And so real quick, we'll run over here to the um, Hyperplex, jump in this little uh, teleporter, and I'll head us over to where normally you'll see people doing it. Now I'll tell you, if you're trying to get Vixen Gears, you're going to not really care that much about what I'm showing you, because you're hunting for the Vixen Gears. So it's going to kind of matter like if you're just trying to knock out the the AI mission you're going to want to actually do what I'm going to show you if you're slowly hunting vixen gears and such you can kind of disregard what I'm saying a little bit more and so uh, I will let you guys know or say vixen gears are super valuable they're actually one of the better things to hunt I mean like the vixens themselves over here on the other side of this building Looks like we've hit night time. I probably should have hopped to that teleporter over here over the one I'm at. I'll try to show you guys one of the AIs real quick. I'm going to let you know there's usually a bunch of people over here hunting. So it gets pretty competitive for trying to get your AI count. You kill 40 AIs. You can claim, I think, ammo or some crap like that over here on the the side of this building and so I'll show you what I'm talking about and uh, we can look at the the mission yeah you earn some pad basically I'll show you this so over here there's an AI right there right by where that guy's hunting and so see right just that fast he killed him so there was an AI I saw up here over here too I'll try to get close enough to where I can definitively show you. On top of that, I'll click on this so we have better lighting. Okay, so let me look around. We're just looking for an AI to show you. I don't like it when the screen's all night, nighttime dark. Usually with so many of these, they'll spawn an AI. But as you can see, there's people hunting like crazy. And uh, usually they're on killing the AI almost instantly. I think you get a two ped presidential card. But in all honesty, we'll knock out the mission today pretty fast. I only have to kill 40 of them. I went and killed four of them beforehand. I think this is the guy you get it from. The mission, the presidential record, recruiter. I think you can do it as a daily thing, just so you guys know. And so... If you're just trying to knock it out real quick, I'll show you where you're going to go. So we go over to the teleporter. See this Camp Crunk over here? Camp Crunk is located right here. Camp Crunk is going to be the location you're going to pop to, okay? Okay. So now that we're at Camp Crunk, there is an instance here. I actually feel the markup on the instance keys is a little higher than I like to see. Uh, 
31 pad markup on an instance key kind of makes it where I'm, I'm less likely to do that instance. I have done it in the past. I have videos on it if you want to watch them on YouTube. Real quick, I'm going to click this button, consume one of these. Trying to decide if we want to consume a skill thing here. I am going to consume one real quick. We'll consume one of these. So these are zero level zombie bikers. They actually do count in the boot camp mission. So I'll drop him real quick. As you can see, I'm at 3,729. We've got a long ways to go. I'm using today an Ospen LRS one. It has a Shiznit laser sight on it, a Long Reach 4, and a Armatrex Amplifier B, just so you guys know. And so it's pretty good weapon. A 4B, I apologize. I, I should get the whole thing in there. And so out here, there's actually going to be AIs that pop too. Uh, Reality-wise, you're going to get them a lot faster out here than you are anywhere over in the area where they pop basically at the same rate, but you're competing with a bunch of people. That's actually a pretty good hit for the weapon we're using. Have a whole bunch of conversations up again, and I apologize for that. Earlier, I knocked out four really quick, just for the record, and so we'll hope we can knock out um, 40 real quick. Would be nice if they just had a spot for the AI though. Just like all by themselves, kicking it and stuff. Okay, let's run over here, see if we spot any. Got a bunch of zombie bikers, of course. So I hope you guys are off to a great week, by the way. Kind of mixed bag. I'm not sure if I should be using my uh, Pyro Chip 3. Seven point one damage. Eighteen. You know what? I think I'm gonna pyro chip these guys just because I I hate being too slow. And in all honesty, I like killing things fast. This is a pyro chip three. It's a permanent one. It has a mind force kinetic amplifier one on it. So we're quickly cleaning through these guys. Always nice when we take one down in a single throw, right? It's going to be awkward if we don't spawn any AIs, and I tell you this is a good spot. That's all I'm going to say.
But as you can see, we're rocking right through the zombie part. Hey, Ierson, how you doing? Hope freaking amazing. I thought I was going to throw a fireball at him, but then all of a sudden I took a second. We need these guys to respawn faster, just to be honest. So basically everything's rocking. A little bit higher spawn rate would be good, but you know maybe we could slow down our killing too. I don't like to slow down the killing on these guys because kind of one of those, hey, the faster you kill, the, the faster you rip through this kind of stuff. I don't know what's up on top of here. Mob switch out or not a mob switch out. That's a steep, steep uh, area. I don't think I could climb that, to be honest. There's an AI right there. He just rushed me. So that's what I'm talking about. Hey, Rudevo, I hope you're having a great day. Kicking butt. Let's hope we spawn some more because, in all honesty, one's pretty slow. We've got to kill four, well, 35 left. So we, we want them to spawn faster for sure. Faster is always the goal, right? More efficient, faster. I think this is somebody's billboard right over here. I'm not sure who owns this. Probably Soul, honestly. There's one right there. So now we're getting them. So you can kind of see how I'm not having to compete with everybody else for the AIs over here. Now, granted, they're still not as thick as I wish they were. You know, to where we'd be like, oh, if you just come here, you can hop on and in some odd minutes, you're done. But at least they are absolutely, uh, oh. Does somebody have a billboard shop or are they selling this? Okay, I'm going to find out who this is real quick. Well, I guess we could just click that and find out who, who owns the shop mannequin, right? Does it not tell you who owns the things anymore? Where is, where is the control terminal on this, this pad? Guys, I need a freaking control terminal so I know who owns stuff. Oh, okay. Drifter owns this. Good to know. What do we got here? Knives. I like knives. And a spectral blade. What's the markup on a spectral blade? A lot. Holy crap. That's a lot of markup, guys. And what's the markup on this? A sh crap ton of markup. Yeah, we don't buy things to have that kind of markup. I mean, some of them are worth it, but nah. I'm a solid no on that. Nice shop, though. Cool. Good place to have it. Kind of the wrong gear for what we're doing, though. Hey, Avalonis, I hope you're having a great day. By the way, I'm going to make kebabs this week, man. Super excited about that. Make sure these ones count. They're old. I don't think that guy counted. So we might want to move back towards our... Oh, you know what? It did count. Okay. I'm super excited about making those. I've been... I love food, guys. That's, thank God for food. Let's just be honest. Can you imagine how just boring life would be if you didn't have to eat? I mean, like, because we've made such great ways to eat. You know what I mean? Like, we could be eating gruel or something like that, sustaining our lives through some kind of mystery paste crap. But instead, we have brilliant people that have cooked delicious dishes. In which are like the root of some cultures and stuff like that. 
You know what I like too? Is, you know Indian food, right? You know how they have that? Well, they have some kind of bread. I don't even know what it's called. It has some kind of name. I like that bread that they make. You know, like the, the unleavenly bread. It's like a flat bread. Super yummy. I don't know if you guys have ate that. But I like it. Do you know the other thing I like that I might have to show you guys what it is that aren't from America? There's a dish called Navajo... Nan! Yeah, non bread. That stuff's yummy. I need to learn how to make that. That stuff's super good. Thank you, for Dirk Diggler, with the save right there. Yeah, I couldn't remember what it's called, but I'm going to tell you I like that. I think that's good. If you guys aren't from America, though, I'm going to go to a restaurant and get myself um, a Navajo taco. And I'll show you what that is. And basically, it's pure freaking deliciousness. In fact, maybe I do that tonight. I wish they would let me go in the back and, and film them making my Navajo taco. But most restaurants in America are pretty picky about allowing you to go back there and film them cooking your food for some reason. They shouldn't be. They should be proud. You guys think it would be hard to find a bunch of restaurants that just wanted to let me do that? Oh yeah, I honestly, I'm not even concerned with the attracting more people or not. At this point, I kind of focus on, on Twitch as just a hobby social thing, just to be honest. But I will look over that and, and kind of look into it a little further. But most of, of, most of my focus is, is kind of uh, based on on time and stuff is constrained to other things and in all honesty even if i i like worked real hard to make um twitch my focus in entropia universe the maximum cap that there is for like viewer stuff on entropia universe really is gonna be a a very small viewership number like I literally am at this point streaming Entropia because I like the people and I like the game but monetarily wise and stuff like that it's it's probably not the greatest uh, it's actually a horrible choice like, if I were focusing on money, it, it wouldn't be a focus on this game. The reason I focus on this game is because I like you guys, and I like the game. But for money-wise and viewership-wise, it's absolutely kind of a... Uh, it's a mixed bag, let's just say that. It just doesn't have a high cap of people. You're not going to... Uh, you're not going to murder it with the maximum amount of people that uh, are viewers that watch Entropia. And maybe that changes one day. Maybe they do some big time stuff and they increase their overall viewer base and player base to where it's lucrative. But as it sets now, if you're not streaming Entropia because you like the game and you just enjoy the community... Um, I don't know what to say like that's really it it's just like I try to tell people don't play the game for the money because you should play the game because you enjoy it it's the same thing with streaming Entropia the amount of money that you earn streaming Entropia on Twitch is super um, super low guys in fact when I was doing all the giveaways and stuff and letting the points happen, I was literally subsidizing the, the stuff with YouTube money in which the vast majority of my YouTube money doesn't come from Twitch. 
I mean, doesn't come from Entropy Universe at all. In which I'm okay with that. And I might th figure out something we can do in the future anyway. But um, I'm not that worried about viewer um, type stuff. Like, you know, like, oh, how many viewers I have on this game. It's just never going to be a high view game without them actually putting in the effort. Now, if they wanted to, they could actually do it, though. But they would have to, uh, basically, they'd have to hire somebody. They'd have to pay people to actually have bigger audience factors. And they would have to actually do marketing. And in all honesty, MindArk doesn't seem to be the greatest at marketing. I mean, it's okay because it's not like the biggest deal either way. I don't really care. But let's just be honest. Um, they're not creating a proper pipeline of new players to the level that they could be. And that, that's mixed bag. Maybe the organic players are the better players. Maybe they should put out some money in it. But uh, it just is what it is, guys. But we, I'm at this point, I'm gonna be focusing on the the fun aspect of it more than the uh, giveaways and stuff like that. Which, you know, I get it. Will decrease the viewership stuff. I'm okay with that. In the future. Maybe that'll turn around, though. I would like it if it did turn around. I would totally appreciate that. I'm more excited, to be honest, about just kind of keeping up my my uh, streams on, you know, Twitch and, and kind of doing the Twitch for more fun. And honestly, most of my focus is, is uh, YouTube is, is much more profitable for me at this point. And I can just go out and do fun things and it still gets more views than, uh, than Entropia. Like just going and doing things. In which, in all honesty, I like to kind of do things too, not just play video games. Do love this game though. Now if if Mindark would get itself together and throw together a good promotional team to where like they were pipelining more viewers and stuff like that, I'd totally probably switch up my opinion. Nah. I'll probably have the same opinion. See, we're, we're already flying through. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. I've seen the wheel. I should probably get that anyway so we can do some stuff like that. And I feel that that's the fairest way to do it is to use one of those wheels. If you do do giveaways and stuff. But in all honesty. Um, the the amount that I earn. On Entropia Universe streaming on Twitch. Is a super super small amount. The viewership just isn't high enough you guys. And, and so reality wise. I don't know if any of you guys also stream. But uh. Twitch is, is not a super profitable uh, place for Entropy Universe. Actually, um, even on YouTube, Entropy Universe is not very profitable. Like, so... I could... Um, every time I dye my hair and make a hair dye video... That earns me about $250 per year, every year. And so like, 
little things like that and just general content videos that I don't enjoy making that much, but I realize how it works is how it works. Have a higher viewership rating, take me less time, and will make me a couple hundred bucks at minimum every year. And so um, that's kind of crazy how it works like that, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? I'm glad that, that you can make such good money though on that. Because it literally takes me like an hour to go dye my hair and do a video on it. And uh, I don't usually make a couple hundred bucks per hour. I mean, I get that it's spread out over a long time, but... But a hair dye video will make uh, a few dollars every, every day. Forever. Or for a long time. I mean, maybe not forever. But definitely has longer legs than the um, average video gaming video that I do. And I'm super looking forward to going and doing outdoorsy stuff too. And so uh, really at this point my focus is that I'll be doing more real world type streams and stuff like that. Cooking going gold panning probably not on twitch because in all honesty youtube is is the higher payer for most of that stuff now if uh in mind arc would start actually putting money behind their stuff it would be a totally different situation. But they don't. Or, in all honesty, if they would just hire a couple really charismatic streamers, in which that would probably be a good choice of them too. Like, in all honesty, um, a couple streamers hired over some of their staff would be a good idea for them. And I'm not talking like me. I don't have the viewer base to bring proper attention to this game. And that's what they really need is somebody with external viewer base. Like, my viewer base is already people that already play the game. So I'm not going to bring something new to it. I'm not, for the most part, exposing new players to the game. Most of the people that view my videos already play the game or, you know, well, pretty much. <sighs> I am so sorry, you guys. I literally had a late last night. And so kind of big yawn right there. Don't mean the yawn in the middle of killing the zombies but yeah if they wanted to boost viewer base they they would probably be well off to honestly I don't know why they don't actually hire Bonnie and stuff like that Bonnie is a probably a good choice overall because she has a super high attractiveness rating you know what I mean but even her viewers are uh, predominantly um already play the game and so they probably should hire her and then some other streamer that's like her that plays other games so that they could probably you know bring some new blood into the game that's my opinion at least But yeah, they need some game ambassadors for the most part. And the good thing is, um, well, they probably need just game ambassadors. I'll just be honest. Like the idea that they don't have game ambassadors is kind of scary. 
like paid ones. I need to get my crop together and sleep more where like where I'm getting the proper sleep so I'm not dead tired at the end of the day. I really do think I'm going to go out and get a uh, Navajo taco though. And I'm going to show you guys what it is though too. Because honestly they're delicious. But uh, I'm gonna go to a restaurant. I'm not gonna, not gonna make it myself. I would have had to like done a lot of work already and get things ready. You guys feel we should be getting more AIs than we are? I feel we should get more AIs than we are. So I am going to go gold panning this weekend though, by the way. I mean, I probably won't get a lot of gold because it's going to be my first time. And I don't know if I'm going to drive down to Telluride or anything. I probably should, though. Oh, you guys, I should... You know what? Telluride has a mushroom festival. I know, you guys are probably like, oh, that sounds really fun. It is. Um, I probably should go to it and cover that. Let me look this up. Hold on one second. We'll find out when it is. When is the Telluride Mushroom Festival? August 14th. Wait, are we in August? Hmm, to the 18th. What, what is, to, are we August right now? Guys, I don't know what month it is right now. I'm going to just be honest. I think it is August. Yeah, we're in August. Crap. I'm probably already missing it. I think we're in August. There's a sad state of affairs when I, I don't know what month it is right now. Oh crap, it's going on right now. Guys, holy crap. The the mushroom festival is actually going on down in Telluride as we speak. Holy 15th through 18th, right? That's what it was. Fourteenth through eighteenth. Okay. I'm thinking about this. I gotta gotta figure out if I'm going to to tell you right this weekend. I feel that I should be. Yeah. So interesting. I didn't realize it was already going on. Now I gotta figure out if I'm gonna go down to. Tell you right, I actually didn't have plans to, but honestly, I now I realize that the mushroom festival is going on. They have a lot of different types of mushrooms, let's just say that. Um, pretty good experience overall. Tell you right, it's gorgeous though. If you, you know, it's, a lot of Colorado is just gorgeous, like that's just the thing. If you live in Colorado, you're blessed. 
If you live in a lot of places, by the way, I think you're blessed. Basically, if you're living, you're usually blessed. A beautiful, fascinating world we live in. Man, now I gotta think about this. There's a, a high likelihood Telluride Mushroom Festival is gonna happen. Trying to, in my head, I'm like working out my, my plan. I kinda wanna call people and let them know, hey, look, the Telluride Mushroom Festival's this weekend. Do you wanna go down there with me? got a lot of friends that like like going to that event there's always festivals in Colorado for some reason we really like festivals because they're fun probably we have a peach festival coming up soon too I have to check when that is you guys are into peaches and stuff like that we have a whole festival based on that because we grow a lot of peaches here for some reason Climate, beautiful soil. I'll find out when the Palisade Peach Festival is. I feel that's important. If you guys live in Colorado, what date is the Palisade Peach Festival? August 16th, 17th, August 16th. It's this weekend too? What the crap are they thinking? Okay. You can't go to both festivals. Oh, I could go down for one day. Oh, I'm trying to figure this out, guys. I'm probably going to both festivals. That's super exciting. I feel my my whole weekend just got ate by festivals. Oh man, I love festivals. Cause they always have super good food at festivals, you guys. Plus, you know, there's nice people and music and bands and stuff like that, but I'm more there for the food. Okay, we'll come up over this hill. Oh, man, yeah. I don't think that they should put the festivals on the same weekend. They should have spread it out by a little bit at least, just for my comedians and other people's too, but mine mostly because I don't know why. We have a corn festival too, by the way. It'll be coming up soon. Basically, I feel that that's what Colorado does. We just like having a bunch of festivals. Which is a good choice. Have any of you guys, or did any of you guys follow the Olympics this year? I kind of didn't really follow them that much. But then all of a sudden the memes started coming out. Yeah. I've, I've seen more of the Olympics through memes than the actual Olympics. I didn't actually watch the Olympics. But I have laughed my butt off at some of the hilarious crap that happened at the Olympics. I kind of feel that the Olympics were kind of a little bit of a failure this year. Like overall viewership, overall how how many memes it generated, 
That's about the only thing they succeeded on. In which I don't think that's what they were going for, but they definitely did it. But we've got three right here. I'm going to come over and throw a fireball at this guy. And now I have to walk all the way over there. Crapola. Okay. Now we're, we're getting in there. So, I think the restaurant that I, I'm going to tonight is called like Mama Maria's or something like that. I don't know. Mama Maria's. It's going to be yummy. Now that's all I can think about is all these festivals I have to go to. Ah, oh, man. I don't have to go to them. I'm choosing to go to them because I love festivals. I'm kind of already kind of starting to get excited for Halloween too. I don't actually have a plan for Halloween. But somehow I'm kind of like, hmm, Halloween sounds fun this year. Hope it's going to be fun. Okay, we need more AIs. They need to respawn this area faster. I feel it's, it's pretty light. So I was up too late last night reading books. Probably doesn't sound like the most exciting thing to you guys. Um, really need to be more responsible about being like, hey, it's really late. I probably should put this book down, go to sleep. But it was just interesting, so I uh, kept reading. And now, now I'm tired. Hey, Def M. Um, 
I'll have to translate that that later, honestly, because because I actually am not not fluent in pretty much almost anything except English. I mean, like I could probably spot a couple Italian words because we studied Italian for months. But uh, I I will I will uh, check that in a second. Hold on one second. Do any of you guys have lots of festivals where you live? I'm gonna just say that like festivals, they're good. Everybody should have festivals. We don't have a seafood festival in Colorado because we're nowhere near the sea. That's about it. If we were anywhere near it, we'd have a festival for that even. Although, I am planning on one day going to Maine just to go eat seafood in Maine. It's all on the other side of the country, though, so I have to, uh, like, have a plan for that, not just be like, oh, I'm heading to Maine. I think Maine's gorgeous, though. Kind of halfway wish I was in a situation where I could have a house in Maine and a house in Colorado. Not quite there yet. Gonna take a lot more work. But we can hope. Cross fingers, guys. If you guys want to send good vibes at me to help me become super, super rich in multiple capacities, feel free to. I'll totally take your good vibes. I hope you guys the same though. Hope you all have a super prosperous life and and wealth just flows at you. Then, oh, there's an AI again. Super nice day out today. Kind of trying to track how long I think it's going to take me to get through this. Oh good, here's another. Okay, so we're at 40% of the way through this. That honestly going slow as crap, but. Boot Camp 5 is kind of a big freaking mission, honestly.
my energy went. Woo! I've got coffee here. We need we need faster output of these uh AIs. Oh, there's an AI. Okay, now we're getting there. By the way, a level 3 combustive chip seems perfect on this for speed kill wise, you know what I mean? Do you guys have a favorite festival in your area? I don't have like a favorite actual festival. I just like festivals, period. You know what I mean? Like probably not all festivals. I'm sure there's some festival that I wouldn't want to go to. But like basically like normal wholesome festivals where there's food and it's celebrating some kind of harvest. I like that. It's always fun. Oh good, we have more. Uh, no, I, I shouldn't have hit that guy. I should have hit the billboard there, but we won't we won't argue if they want to give it to us. Okay, now we're on the countdown. Wait! You have a sweet corn festival? We have a sweet corn festival. We have the Olathe Sweet Corn Festival coming up. Dirk! Do you, do you by any chance live anywhere near Colorado? You can come to our festival. We have a delicious sweet corn festival. Let me find out when it is. When is the Olathe Sweet Corn Festival? August 24th. So literally next week we'll have a sweet corn festival. See what I said on like all we do? Oh yeah, that is a bit of drive. 
So yeah, so literally we have festivals for the next several weeks because um, that's what we do. I that, That's literally it. I mean, last weekend there was a music festival up in Aspen too. And then they have them. Um, honestly, you know the big one people come to? I don't listen to bluegrass music. And so it's not like my cup of tea mute like festival. But we have a festival called the um, Telluride Bluegrass Festival. I'll find out when that is for you guys. Just in case you want to come listen to bluegrass music, country music. In my town, we also have Country Jam, which is a country musical festival. Telluride Bluegrass Festival. Oh, I need the date. What date is the Telluride Bluegrass Festival? June. June 20th to 23rd, you guys. Oh. Yeah, Colorado Springs is nice. It's a little, I mean, it's one of the bigger kind of more metropolitan areas for our area, for Colorado. Most of Colorado is smaller towns, in all honesty, guys. And I like it that way. I'm not trying to live in, like, Manhattan or some crap like that. I get it. There's probably cool stuff to do there, too. I don't want to live in a metropolitan area that much. I, I kind of like living in a small little Colorado town. Or any small little town. I kind of want to go, like, if I moved to Maine ever, I would want to live in a smaller town. You know where I've kind of looked at, though? And I'm not, not committed to moving yet. But I kind of have looked at uh, Portland, Maine. It looks gorgeous. I'm probably going to go on vacation there. Eventually. That's a goal I have. Portland, Maine. Vacation in Portland, Maine. It looks gorgeous. I'm pretty freaking sure they'll have some amazing seafood. They're all up in that seafood area. I kind of want to go to Canada too. Not for the food. I don't know much about Canadian food. I, I don't know if they're good at food. Because nobody's like, you know, where I like to eat is a Canadian restaurant. Never heard of that. But they have gorgeous glacier parks. Like freaking mind-boggling. And so like the lakes up in Canada and stuff. One of my friends went up there, came back with just amazing pictures. And I didn't even, I never had considered, oh, I would like to go to Canada. I kind of just like Canada. It just sounded boring to me, honestly. I guess they have maple syrup, right? Um, but outside of that, I didn't think Canada had a lot going on. And then I saw pictures of my friend's trip. And I was like, oh, that's really freaking gorgeous. I think I would like that part of Canada. I mean, I've never been there, but it looks super pretty. And they probably have some okay food. Every country and culture has some kind of good food. You know what I mean? I hope. If there's a country that doesn't have any good food, I feel bad for them. Just life is so much better with delicious food. I think at least. Oh, we're flying through this.
Boy, at first I was a little worried that we were going to just have a crappy situation here. Because I was like, where are all the AIs? They're supposed to be coming at me. But, but now, now they're just coming out the word works and we're flying through it. Now I'm looking forward to food tonight. I'm gonna be eating some deliciousness. I don't even know what to think about it. The, the funny thing is that the restaurant that has, well, a lot of the restaurants in my town that have like delicious food are not the fancier restaurants. Like we have some super pretentious restaurants and they're actually not that amazing. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean about it, but like most of the good food in Colorado is mom and pop restaurants. And our pretentious restaurants are just like trying too hard restaurants. We're like, they're trying with super hard, but at the end of the day, there's three right in a freaking row. Can you believe that, you guys? At the end of the day, trying too hard to be freaking fancy doesn't actually just make your food good. I mean, like, oh, look at this. The last two that we needed is right here. So we were able to knock out this mission in an hour. See, and now I need to head back and get paid by the presidential recruiter. And I'll show you where that, that is in a second. So basically in an hour and a couple minutes, you can rip through the uh, hunt the AI mission. Which I'd consider pretty fast. Because if you try to do it in that area where everybody's doing it, they like it's horrible it actually is not the most chill spot to do it just so you guys know okay now we're flying oh i thought i'd have him with that first throw Hmm. So our Navajo tacos, though, don't get them in a place that's like a chain restaurant. They don't know what they're doing. You got to go to an authentic mom and pop type restaurant in Colorado. But can I tell you where the best Navajo tacos are and stuff? Down by our reservations. Like made by the real Navajos and stuff. Or the Utes. The Ute Indians and Hopi Indians make good tacos, too. But uh, basically the Navajo Reservation Navajo Tacos are, are probably the dominantly the better ones. Just out of, like if you go down to Mexican Hat or Shiprock and stuff like that, down past the Blanding area, that's where you're going to get the best, like, holy crap. And cheap. Like stuff near the reservation area is super cheap. Like, you, you're not going to pay a bunch. Not going to be a fancy restaurant. It's going to be like a little cafe or something like that that you find them in. Fancy restaurants, they don't, they don't make the traditional, like, Indian food, like, Native American food. I'll call it Native American. India is a different place, but, you know, traditional Native American food, you're not going to find in a, a chain restaurant. That They're going to screw it up. Just telling you. Like... You definitely want to be be down. Boom. Okay, City of Dreams, Lagoon. Poof. And then I'll collect our thing, and you guys will see what I, I did that for. 
So we just whipped the crap out of all those things. I think I did pretty good on recovery of pulling stuff. Got 71 ped in uh, stuff right there. I don't know how much I had. Or I, I don't know what I put out, but honestly, not that much. Some maple short boards. The boards are probably the most important thing I got here outside of finishing the little mission. Okay, I'm going to run over here. And then we'll grab our, our uh, card. I think they give us two ped, a two ped presidential card. And so literally if you um, just like to knock out your zombie kill mission and you'd like to get two ped extra and knock out this daily, it's probably the best way to do it. And I'll show you how to do it. right over here where everybody's trying to hunt for them and I'm I'm gonna say that these this mob is a great mob but I knocked that out fast and then we just come up and talk to her yeah prepaid card two pad and I'm gonna get 20 rock bucks Wait, hold on. And in addition, I'm going to get one pet in ammo for tomorrow's hunt. Okay. Yeah, see? I got a two pet presidential card, and I get one pet in cheap ammo and a presidential pay stub. Let me see. Presidential pay stud. Dub. I don't know what the point of this is, honestly. Oh, if we collect a bunch, we can we can collect them. Oh, so if we col uh, see and look at this, it's like they really want me to just have easy kills. And so this lady will let you do this every twenty four hours. Um, let me figure out where our presidential card is. I can't remember where they put that thing. Hmm. Not sure where my presidential pay card goes. Oh, I'm supposed to have my card on me. I'll bet it's in my thing. Hold on, guys. Oh, I should kill these girls. I don't know if it went into my account or not. And it probably went into my pay card. So you need the pay stubs to trade in for your pay card. So I guess they're going to put two pet a day into your pay card until you collect up enough of the things. So let me come in here and try to figure out where my card is. Okay, let's look at this. Where would I keep a presidential pay card? Okay, there's some pay stubs. Might I be honest? I don't know where I put my presidential pay card. I feel that it should be somewhere though, don't you guys? Well, she put it on my account. So I'm going to have to figure out where the crap my card is. Because I honestly don't know. Okay, let's put that over there. Presidential pay card stub. Okay, I probably left it on some random planet. And I probably shouldn't be doing that. So, honestly, I'm going to have to go back to some planet, find my pay card... And keep it with me, obviously. Because I don't have it with me. Which, not a big shock. Just going to be legit honest with you. Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff. We'll throw all this crap in there. Outside of that, I think we're good. I'm going to have to go and get my presidential pay card. 
and have it on this planet. Because in all honesty, I don't. And I don't know if it's just building up in some random account or not. I'm selling a bunch of rotten bananas and stuff. Let me know I left some land areas and, and crap like that. We don't care about that. Well, you guys, I'm going to find somebody we can raid over to because I actually have to go get th stuff done in the real world, which isn't my favorite thing to have to say. So let me find somebody that's in Tropia University. Um, you would think that with the fact that we are playing in Tropia that they would have suggested that category. But now instead they wanted to suggest random other stuff. Oh, you know what? Let me see what this guy's doing. Um, he is not, not actively playing. So let me go back and let's find somebody that's actively playing in Tropia Universe. Just because I try to promote other people that are in Tropia Universe that are actually playing the game. And not just kicking it. This guy's actually playing the game. So he's killing... Um, I can't remember what they are. The big freaking well things. That's what he's killing. He's killing some stuff though. And he probably could use some, some love and attention. Just to be honest. Let's get ready. Thank you guys for being epic and hanging out. I hope you all have a great weekend. Peace and very best wishes.